Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I just wanted to come and run my mouth just for a little bit. Uh, the last couple of days have not been, uh, have not been my days. Uh, you know, nothing life-threatening, nothing life-changing. Ain't nobody dying. Ain't nobody, you know, ain't nothing like that going on, thank God. Um, but it's just like, it's just like nothing that makes you want to cry. But it's just like, oh my God, like, are you serious? Like, are you, se like, are y'all for real? So anyways, so yeah, I was hoping that if I came to you guys tonight and, you know, you know, I feel like the, you know, I feel like mess makes the world go round. Hello, <laughs> girl, you know, ain't nothing like talking about somebody when it ain't you, right? When it ain't got to do with you and you ain't, in, and you ain't a part of the mess, then girl, you might smile and kiki and laugh about it. So I'm hoping that's what's gonna happen tonight, girl. We can laugh together and kiki about these about these other people and they miss the thing. Girl, you know what I just saw before I got on? I didn't even wanna want, really wanna talk about this. Um but I saw that Mark Lamont Hill. I, does he have a new show? I fo I've been following Mark Lamont Hill on Instagram forever. Um, but this I think he has a new show. And I saw a clip on the Jasmine brand of him and Umar Johnson. And can I let me just say something? And you know, I'm I may not be as intelligent as Mark Lamont Hill and you know Umar Johnson, but I you know want to just give my little two cents. Um, so the clip that I saw, um, they were talking about um, violation. I'm trying to make sure I say my words, you know, because I don't want to get myself taken down, but violation of um like a woman y'all get what i'm trying to say right so this is my thing and i have been saying this for years no it is not right that white people can pretty much do what they want to do right and sometimes not even get a tap on the hand. But I think that we have to come to the realization that yes, it's unfair. Yes, it's not right. White people are, and probably not you, the white person that's watching this, uh, my channel or this, um, this uh, video right now, probably not you. You're probably not that white person who is destructive and racist and girl just you're probably not that person right but i think that we know that for the most part white people have been the most violent <laughs> group of people on this earth that's what history has shown us they not they may not want to accept it but that's just a fact that, that really really is like they have beat, they have violated, they have girl done everything that you can think of to people, right? So when it comes to the violation of a woman, I just cannot get with this whole because the white man did it that makes it okay for the black man to do it. No, it is unfair that this black man was sentenced to something that he did and the white person did the same thing and girl, he just got a weekend in jail and went on to live his best life. Yes, that's unfair. However, when we start talking about the violation of a woman, the violation of a person, and y'all get what I'm trying to say when I say violation because it starts with an R, right? When we start to talk about that, there is no way you're going to get me to understand. There's no way you're going to get me to agree that just because Billy Bob got away with something, that means that Tyrone should too. No. The way that this should work is we don't want, and Mark Lamont Hill said this, we don't want the Tyrones and the Pookies and the Bill Cosbys and the R. Kellys of the world to start being treated like the white men of the world who can go out here and violate women and get away with it. No, we want these white men to start being treated like the Tyrones and Pookies and Bill Cosby's and R. Kelly's of the world. 
Because when you look at who's being violated at the hands of black men, it's usually a black girl or a black woman. So we can't scream, yell, and beat the street down, talk about protect black women, but you also want these same predators, these same men who are causing destruction in people's homes and causing destruction to a woman or a girl to just let 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 them go because the white man got away with it. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. And like I've asked y'all before, if, a, if you had two daughters and a white man unfortunately violated one daughter and a black man violated the other daughter, you mean to tell me because the white man got off, you want the black man to get off too? Girl, no. 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 And I get that it's unfair that, you know, when these black men are being accused of violating someone that they may get a different amount of uh, press when you compare it to a white person. But when it comes to stuff like that, I don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> I was trying not to curse. <laughs> like, I honestly just don't give a fuck. Like, nigga, your ass going to jail. Like, you're going to jail. Even if the white person got off, nigga, your ass is going to jail. Period. And that's just what it is. That's just what it is with me. And I just have a hard stance on that. Like, that's why when I, when I can't, I, I start to just kind of like, girl, it's not even, it's really like, I'm going to listen to what you're saying, but I'm just, I'm more than likely 99.9%, .9%, not even that, 100%. Like, I'm not changing my opinion on that. Like, I don't give a damn. And the thing is, it's kind of like, oh, well, it took forever for Harvey Weinstein to, like, Harvey Weinstein. I'm not saying this was a, a Dr. Umar said. I'm, that's not what I'm saying. But I, I'm just going by what I've heard people say. It Harvey Weinstein ain't got like Harvey. It's like four or five documentaries out there on Harvey Weinstein. What the problem is with y'all got them lazy ass motherfuckers is that girl y'all just want to get all y'all information from the shade room. If it ain't on the shade room, then they don't exist. That's how y'all look at it. Like girl, y'all y'all can Google girl everything in the world. But, girl, when it comes to shit out there that you could really just find it, girl, all you have to put in Harvey Weinstein documentaries, girl, they going to pop up. Anyways, I just wanted to say that. So, let's get into this, man. Girl, that was, girl, I did not want to start out the video with that, but, girl, it is what it is, girl. Okay, Molly Mall. Do y'all remember that guy from Love and Hip Hop Hollywood? Remember, it was the first season. His The first season, I think that he was, like, dating Masika and uh, Miss Nikki, baby. Remember? I think he, he was a producer. Well, anyways, girl, he's going to jail for 33 months. Now, the word on the curve is, the word on the curve is, is, girl, he was out here running a whole ring. They say that this man was running a whole ring, and the girls were making between $1,000 to $10,000 a day, but he was only allowing the girls to keep $100. <laughs> I got something to say about that in a little bit. <laughs> but then, now there's been an update uh, from the Neighborhood Talk that says that Molly Ma says that this is not true. He's saying that basically um, I had to take a plea, a plea deal to keep from doing five to ten years for something that I didn't do. Um, he says that an obsessed FBI agent by the name of Kevin White, this is what the neighborhood talk is saying, was so eager to have a huge case that he coerced and then even threatened women to speak out against him in exchange for money. Those girls, this is what Ma, Molly Mall is saying now, those girls, all they care about is money, not the verdict. Um... Ma says that he was targeted after his house was raided in 2014 and again in 2019 for exotic animals and alleged human trafficking. He says Agent White was angry that he wouldn't turn over any of his cop friends who may or may not have been involved in his dealings. I ain't no 6'9". This is what Ma's saying. I ain't no 6'9". <laughs> Ma says Kevin White was removed from his case due to his lies and scheme. 
However, by the time Maul was notified of his removal, it was too late because he had already taken the plea deal. He says, I'm going to take the time. I'm going to do the time because I'll never snitch on nobody. Bitch. Girl. That's why I don't do the streets. I ain't never been. I ain't never. That's why, it, girl. That's why they made the sidewalk. Girl, that, for, 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 for people like me, I don't do the streets. I don't know nothing about no street code. I don't know nothing about, girl, the girls come knocking on your door. And, girl, they start talking about, girl, you're going to go to jail for five or ten years. Girl, I'm telling them everybody. I'm telling on everybody. That's why if you're going to do your dirt, do your dirt by yourself. So you ain't got to worry about nothing telling on nobody, girl. Just go to jail, do your time, and take your ass back home. Right? 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 So I don't know if the man, I don't know if Molly Mall is telling the truth or not. He's saying that basically he just took the plea deal so he wouldn't have to do five to ten uh, years. He's only doing 33 months now. I don't know if that man really was up there running a prostitution ring and was only letting these girls keep $100. Let me just say something. If that is the truth, yes, I am judging, okay? I'm not even judging. And because, listen, I'm not even judging the girls for selling pussy because I think that you should do it. Girl, if you want to sell pussy, sell pussy. If you want to sell dick, sell dick. If you want to sell a little bit of ass, girl, sell a little bit of ass, right? Girl, that's your body. You can do what you want to do. I'm judging because y'all hoes is dumb as fuck for giving this motherfucker all y'all goddamn money and y'all keeping $100. That's why I'm judging. <laughs> Hello? Why do you need a manager to sell pussy? That's what I'm trying to understand. When you really think about it, like, why do you need a pimp or a manager or an accountant to sell pussy? Girl, I don't need, girl, you don't know how much your cat is worth? Girl, if I had one, I know how much my cat is worth. Hello? So I'm just kind of, I'm kind of confused. I'm kind of confused on y'all dumbass bitches giving this man all y'all money allegedly and, and y'all only keeping a hundred dollars. Uh, I was sitting here thinking about this earlier, like maybe like the reason why you may need like a madam is because you do have these high profile men who may just want to get their rocks off, who may be into certain things. Like, you know, a lot of these men are people, period which ain't nothing wrong with it. A lot of these men get into certain things like, you know, fetishes and stuff. And they may not necessarily get that from the women that they're dating or unfortunately from their wife. So if you have this madam who has a, these group of girls, then maybe that's the best way for it to go down because then it's more of a business deal. You don't have to worry about this girl, I don't guess, coming out and saying, oh, I met up with... Rodney and girl, he liked to <laughs> girl, he liked to have candle wax put on his thing and I don't know, girl, like weird stuff. I don't know. I just think it's weird that when I hear when I, you know, even think about like pimps. Like, girl, why do you need but I guess it also comes down to like these women probably have low self esteem, low self worth. Not to say that's that will be a reason for you for you to prostitute, but I'm I would think that because if you would like have a pimp or like you, bitch, you, do you really need a pimp to sell pussy? Girl, you, you know you don't need no pimp, girl. You know you could just, girl, you know you can sell pussy and just keep all your money. Like, girl, you know you ain't got to give a shit. I'm more on the money part. That's why I'm confused. I'm not laying down selling my body and having to give nothing to nobody. That's not what I'm going to do. I'm not about to sit down and lay down with some big, fat, nasty white man who bad, who bad built, bad shape, Right? And I got to sleep with this man. And I got to give you 49% of the cut. Or, bitch, in this case, 99.9% of my goddamn money, you only going to give me $100? Oh, baby, please. Oh, baby, please. I will fuck the whole motherfucking building. Maybe the whole building will get set on fire. Girl, let me come to you and you talking about, okay, my cut is this. Your cut? You ain't this shit. Bitch, I'm the one who has to go into this hotel room with this, big, this big nasty white man. Absolutely not. Girl, your cut is zero. My cut is a hundred. I did all the fucking work. The hell? Girl, I don't understand a prostitution game. Girl, I don't know. Girl, girl that's... Girl, girl, I don't understand how it works. Because I could, I, I wouldn't be no good employee. I would be the worst employee they could ever hire. Okay, Rodney, what you, you made you made five thousand tonight off of your client. All right, where well, my money at? 
girl, let me get my check. Girl, let me get my check. And they talking about, oh, girl, yo, you you only get, girl, 50%. We, we splitting it down the middle. Baby, please. The way I fuck up HR office. Is it an HR office? Is it an HR when you selling pussy? I don't know how that works. How do that work when you have a madam in like a girl? You, is it an HR office? Can you file a complaint? Girl, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so serious. I know y'all think I'm playing, but I'm serious. Can you file a complaint? I guess not because it's not legal, right? And you can't. And I'm sure there ain't no HR office, girl. I don't know, girl. See, that's why. See, that's why I'm in the business of YouTube. See. <laughs> I ain't got to worry about none of that. <laughs> you hear me? Anyways, girl, let's talk about Ellen DeGeneres. So Ellen DeGeneres announced that she is ending her show after 19 seasons, um, according to the Jasmine brand of 19 seasons um, in 2022. Um, she did an interview with the Today Show, and she said, if I, if it was why, basically, I, I, I think they asked her, was she quitting because of the allegations and accusations that... Um, basically said that it was a toxic, a toxic workplace at the Ellen DeGeneres show. She said, if I was, if that was why I was quitting, I would not have come back this year. It was devastating. I'm a kind person. I'm a person who likes to make people happy. Um, she says, I literally stayed here until the last person goes home at night. My therapist is like very few people go through such a huge public humiliation twice in a lifetime. She's making me aware that I'm supposed to be supposed to experience this for a bigger reason. How can I be an example for strength and perseverance and power if I give up and run away? It really is one of the reasons I came back. I really worked hard on myself. Um, they say she went on to say that she felt like her show was uh, that she felt like the claims against her show were orchestrated um, and coordinated. So basically, Ellen said, bitch, I'm, I'm still not going to take no accountability for what happened on my show. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me say something. And I think, you know, a lot of, especially, like, you know, you, you never want to be in that position, right? But I think that what you have to realize is that when your name is on the, what, the marquee? Is that what it's called? Girl, you run that ship. That show ship. You driving that ship. So unfortunately, anything that happens, girl... It's gonna fall on you. It's just kind of like with any with when you really think about it, it's really like that with any job. Like even in retail, like if if you if you're running a department, right, or if you're a manager or a supervisor, if something goes wrong, they not going they not gonna send an email to your subordinates. Bitch, they're gonna send an email to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey girl, what's going on with your team? Blah blah blah. Bitch, you better get it together. So it's like the responsibility falls on you. So it's like, Ellen, girl, and at the end of the day, girl, don't, don't cry for Ellen. Ellen is rich white fish. You know, I don't, you know, Ellen ain't shit either, girl. You know, when Ellen, you know, Ellen is one of them, one of them white rich lesbians you got to watch out for. You know, she got pissed off. Um, she got pissed off when Caitlyn said that she, that, uh, she was against um, gay marriage, but she damn sure let Kevin Hart come on. Let me shut up, girl. Let me shut up. 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 <sighs> Ellen gonna be all right. Ellen is rich white fish, baby. Rich white fish, girl. Ellen didn't had a job that a lot of people could never have, girl. A, a talk show. Oh, I read that Tiffany Haddish may take her spot. You know, Tiffany Haddish is not funny to me, but girl, get money, bitch. Hello, girl. I ain't mad at no black woman or no black man getting a talk show because they ain't like they just handing them hoes out to us, anyways, right? So shout out to Tiffany Haddish if that is the truth. Um, Tiffany Haddish has a nice, um, following. So I'm sure she, I mean, I'm not going to watch it, but I'm sure, I mean, I don't think she's funny. That's all it is. Um, but if she does have a talk show coming, I hope that it works out for her. Shout out to Tiffany Haddish. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. And for, don't forget that we're going live on Saturday, 8.30 PM Central Standard Time. Bye. Saturday, May the 15th.